Hey guys, MikeyJ25 here, and I'm here with a tutorial to on how to make a multi-floor elevator um, using Red Power 2 frames. So a lot of people have requested this, and this video might be a bit long, but I'm going to start now. So um, to start with, you want one motor there and one motor there and then you want to get out um, a deployer and a block breaker and put one on one side and one on the other and in the deployer you want to put frames Plenty. Um. <laughs> uh, yeah. So. And then you want to get a. Uh. Um. Yeah, sorry for failing on the preparation so much. And then you want to get some. Uh, jacketed wire and make this this one here go up and link these two together like that and link these two together like uh, that you don't have to use jacketed cable for all this but I'm just going to because it's easier. And then you uh, no longer le need any jagged cable. And then you need tubes, uh, pneumatic tubes, to go like this. There um, are cheaper resource ways to do this, but this is the w is this is a simple way. Let me just make it midday. And um, now you need to go like that and get a button fail failure. Um, <laughs> and as you can see, when I press this, absolutely nothing happens. And that's because I forgot to do that. When I press this, it deploys that, but nothing happens because it does not have any power yet. So. Um, what I can do is put down a battery box and get out the salt get out get my salt panels out of my inventory and put them down like this. And then to speed it up I've got some batteries. So I did prepare a bit. And then just let that charge up and take the battery out. Okay. Mm. And to make it so you only need one battery box, you can then move that, even though I said you wouldn't need it anymore. You can just move that down there and get a um, insulated um, stone jacketed blue wire or anything jacketed blue wire and then just lead that round here. So now you can see that that's charged up, and so is this. You can see by the blue lights on the side. And you can see now when I press this, it goes up. Now, if I put this here, and I press this, it goes down. And, and you can see the frames are going round in the pipe back into here. Okay, so that works. So now I can push this up a bit, and it does have a uh, certain speed you can press it. So now I can build this out a little bit on both sides, like this. Put these along the sides. Now you can build this like any size or shape you want. There are no real limits to it, other than in your config, 
the size you have set for the maximum number of frames. But um, you can change that to. You can expand that if you want to be able to have a larger elevator. So, so far, this goes up and down and gets limited down at the bottom. So, now we're building the. Actually, uh, oops. Let me build this out of a different material so it's easier to see what's going on. Um, got this here. So, you can now build the walls up around this. Um, and so let's make this the front. Um, so, like, like that. Okay. So, this would be the first floor. then um yeah then this would be the second floor and so on for this demonstration i'll build four floors um which will only really take a, a short amount of time hopefully and then i will that's three and then i shall show you how to do the rest of the build And that is rain, turn off rain, make it midday. Uh, and that's four floors. So, on the top floor I can put on a roof. Or something. Um, and build up the side. Like this. <laughs> side I hope you guys are enjoying this video and you're finding it helpful the real secret is lies in the rest of the video um, you'll see what I mean hopefully okay so now we no longer need either of these. Um, and I need uh, a. I need glowstone. So. Yep. I don't need glowstone, it just looks nice. And it makes it easy to see what each level is. Like this. Two, three. Okay, there we go. And then like this. Like that. Um, and the same on the other one. Like that. Okay. So yeah. And so we'll go like this. And you can bury this down in the ground if you want. So just build it a few blocks lower. Um, okay. So this side makes it go up. And this side makes it go down. Okay. So, what we do is we need this to pulse four times because each level is four blocks. So how do we do that? Well, the wire will be coming down here. Oops, uh, not sure what happened there. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, yeah, I see what's happening. When you hold shift in creative with red power items, it deletes the item. So I have to move down and then do it, or do it while I'm moving up. Okay, anyway, uh, slight distraction. 
Um, so we've got that. And we can also put this around here like this. To connect these buttons onto the sides as well. So, each time one of these buttons is pressed, one pulse will be sent to these sides. Or, yeah, what one, one pulse. Um... Yep. So... Okay, a few more. And the last one. Okay, there we go. And so now, we can bring this charge along here like this, and down here. Okay. And now where the re real secret lies in the simplicity of this thing is the state cell. What you do is you line four state cells up along like this on each side. And then you put wire along them like Now, one of the most important parts is the timing. So on the first one, you put it on 0 0.2 seconds. On the second one, you put it on 1 second. On the third one, you put it on 1.8. And on the fourth one, you put it on 2.6. Because a frame motor takes 0.8 seconds to operate. And then you do the same on the other side. 0.2, um, 1 second, 1.8 and 2.6. Okay. So, let's take your daytime again. Now, when we um, go in here, we need to put two buttons on each level in the middle, oops, in the middle like that. And that's the top. Okay, so this button you press and it makes you go up one level. And you can go up again, another level. And then the other one makes you go down. And so that is a basic uh, elevator and the buttons on the outside. So say you're on this floor and you want the elevator. You can tell it's above you because of the frames and you can just press down and it will come down to your floor. Or if you're above it, you can see empty space. That means it must be below. So press the up button, and you can put up, um, up and down signs on each of the buttons if you want. And so that is a way to make a fairly simple, um, fairly simple multi-floor elevator in Minecraft using red power frames. So I hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed the video. Video. If you have any other tutorials you want me to make, um, leave a comment down below. Um, yeah. Um, see you guys next time. Goodbye.